Let's take a look at a 16 by 16 RGB matrix sold for about $20 at Walmart. I wanted to open it up, see what it does, and uh, see if we can make some improvements. Now this device was only $20 on Walmart. It's relatively cheap, but the diffuser looks great. This is supposed to be in audio recognition mode. I don't see any difference now that I'm talking, maybe a little bit. I wanna take a look at the insides and uh, let me show you that it's already broken. But uh, let's try to put something, we can just do graffiti, graffiti works. And I can draw on the screen and it draws on the, that screen, <laughs> the matrix. <laughs> screen, matrix, matrix, screen. Also, you can try to make an animation and it doesn't seem to push it to the screen. Yeah, nothing seems to work um, except for graffiti. Go into the graffiti mode, you can pull up an image like this and it shows up jumbled. But, you know, on my screen, it does not show jumbled. You can kind of draw on it and wherever you draw looks correctly, but it's not uploading the image properly to the screen, but the diffuser on this is beautiful. If you take a look at this, these pixels are square. So they have like a grid pattern to it. It would look really nice if we got this going. Um, so let's open it up and take a look at the inside and let's see if we can soup it up. What I do have are these ESP32 C3 dev boards of the super micro variant. That's, that's a mouthful. Um, I don't want to touch the top of this because it's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the inside. And let's see if this back panel comes off. It's a nice little diffuser. Four screws. Ooh, these are super difficult. Uh, I believe it's easier to manufacture as well. Okay, and it looks like the cord is only for the power there. It's a really sleek design. Minimal, and it is a Wi-Fi chip. You can see the Wi-Fi board there. You see the cable is just kind of wrapped around. Get this turned on. Okie dokie. And now the cable should be able to come through the back. Awesome. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have Got an interesting chip there, an AC, and it says JL. Let's look this up. So we found this chip. We see a 1R084, they see something else, but this looks very similar. So it looks like some kind of Chinese chip. We probably uh, don't wanna know. <laughs> Adventures in figuring out how incredibly ubiquitous yet incredibly mysterious integrated circuit works. Okay, it's a three-piece wireless Bluetooth receiver. There's a whole bunch of these guys and it looks interesting. And here's the microphone. So this device records. I really just need to see where these start. Top left is 270 and the bottom right is 18. Starts here, which is what it looks like. You hook these up in series. One gets all the data from some kind of data source, and it only takes the first bit of data, and then it sends the rest. Single series LEDs are able to be individually addressed just by a unique protocol. So each of these has circuitry that sees the signal from the first pulse with modulated code, it recognizes it, it lights itself up, and then, yeah, so each of these LEDs are also have to have that logic built into them. Um, but it's pretty easy to build it inside uh, with how they make the integrated circuits of RGB. This is what it looks like inside the LED, which is crazy. These wires are attached. We can see the full LED. It's just crazy how small this is, and each of these are the same way. So this is where the data goes in. There's a via that comes out from this pin right here. Ideally, I can desolder this chip, which I'm gonna do because I don't trust it. And that's just all there is to it. So I'm gonna use both my soldering iron and a heat gun 
to try to get this off. There we go. So I have my five volts. I have this, which is the data for the RGB LEDs. So I got orange is on five volts. This one's on the ground. And then I'm gonna put the data pin on pin zero. So let's open up Fani, Dom 23, okay, and run, there we go, gotcha. So if I save this now, it's going to fill it, yeah, now we can see how, look how high the power gets consumed. This is running on the ESP32C3. Pretty sleek, kind of like the design. Of course, if we unplug the USB proper, it has its own cable for power. And that's with too much of the code, and it's not getting to Conway's Game of Life, something is airing. So we may have to do some kind of voltage optimization. Now, it wasn't directly on the network. It communicated with the phone, but how that operated was kind of sketchy. It also said at the first moment, hey, do you want to download this thing when you open the app? So I just didn't trust the chip, wanted to control it myself. So I hope you like this project. I have a lot of interesting projects I'm working on right now. One is the coffee clicker. The other, of course, is Open Muscle. Also working with some other companies, so stay tuned for those updates. I just had a little bit of a break and I wanted to do something kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you like videos like this, please let me know. Uh, please share a project that you're working on in the comments and let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world. Till next time. Check this out, babe. Check this out. Pretty sweet, huh? That's what you got it to do? <laughs> what are you gonna make it do cool? Okay. <laughs> I love you.